All right, all right, we are back. Let's, uh, today, let's do exploring of the AMD actual website and dis uh, discover and see what kind of processes they have. Why, why is this crypto gym? Why are you doing this to us? You're back in school, no. Anyway, we're, we're always throwing out the names, 3900s, AMD, a five series, Threadrippers. What does that even mean? Uh, basically, if you look at your nice hash dashboard or whatever, Hive OS, whatever you're running, yeah, you, you know what you have. You have 3900X, it has 12 cores. Here I got a uh, uh, Ryzen 5, a smaller little CPU with, uh, it's a 1600 with six core processor. And then we got a uh, 3950 with a 16 core processor. What the hell does all that mean? And uh, well, we're gonna find out, I guess. These are the ones I have. These are older models. You're now in the Ryzen 9 uh, 5 series. More beef, more hash. And then you also got the super duper, super duper ludicrous th uh, thread rippers, man. Those things, those are beefy and they cost accordingly. A couple thousand, at least a couple thousand. God, I can't remember what the hell was that. Oh, the, we'll look. I think it was in a, yeah, it was pretty expensive. Uh, let's see. So let's go back to AMD. So I'm at AMD Advanced Micro Devices, Big Daddies. And uh, on their main landing page, we do have, they broke out into their business commercial personal and uh type of processors this is a site you want to also go to they have everything if you're if you're in doubt just go right to the manufacturer site don't be hacking around watching random videos just go to the site start reading these guys have all their products the breakdown the specs what to use them for the resource and support has the actual applications you can use and the drivers you need for your uh, GPUs. Your, your and then uh, CPUs, maybe yeah, you're out to check. Maybe the CPU have driver. I can't remember. I know the GPUs you, you download specific drivers. Uh, you can also download the Ryzen Master, which is used for overclocking your um, hardware, your AMD hardware. It's all under the resources and support. Here we go. I'm just looking through here. Downloads, yeah, Ryzen Master Overclock, Utility, Store MI. Oh, Pro Management Tools for IT Administrator. Radeon Graphics and AMD chipsets. You got the drivers, all this stuff, Ethernet adapters. Network interface card softwares and downloads. And you get the, uh, you get the gist. So what's developer resources? Oh, you can actually do Developer Central. Interesting. Zen Software Studio for okay. They must have an API and all that stuff. We yeah. If you're in a development, man, go look here too. Partner resources, sales tools. All right. They want to partner with you. You can uh, yep. You can hook up. I don't know if you're become a legitimate reseller or partner with AMD and support warranty documentation knowledge base. Again, it's all here. This is your little. RTFM, read the manual. Uh, yeah, not bad. Yeah, if you want to know stuff, go here. And you'll get the truth, right? Because they make the stuff. They know what, it's, what it does. All right, we'll skip over the business commercial stuff. That's just, they're just branding it to buy for businesses. Here's the personal desktop processors. Ryzen Threadrippers, baby. Those are the beefy puppies. 64 cores. 100. That's a 128. 128. Dear Lord, 128 threads for lightning fast creative workloads. My God, you could do a lot. Of, you could do a lot of stuff on one of those puppies. I don't even know what the noise is on them, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That is smackaroos. I think there are multiple thousands of bucks, right? We looked at one earlier. I forget exactly what it was. I think it was. Uh, hold on, let me look. Let me look. I'm gonna just go um, AMD thread. Ripper. Let's see what we have here. Google. There we go. Oh, it goes from one thousand up to fifty-five hundred bucks for one of those puppies, depending on the model. Yeah, look at that. All right, let me bring this over. There you go. I just did a basic AMD Threadripper. Uh, search 
You're not cheap. So yeah, you got to know your mission, what you're buying this thing for, and if it meets what your mission is, and you can maybe mine on it. I don't know. You got to do the ROI. Am I going to spend this money for mining? Wow. Am I going to get my money back anytime soon? It may take a couple years. Uh, yeah. Wow. Okay. But hey, if it's a hobby, you have some money to blow. I don't care. It's your money. And you may find a use for it. All right, we got the AMD Ryzen processors, game-changing performance up to 16 cores, 32 threads, boost clocks up to 4.9 gigahertz, and up to 72 megabytes of cache. Cache. Uh, you got, oh, this is cool. I like this. AMD Ryzen processors with Radeon graphics. Uh, enthusiast class performance without the need for a discrete graphics card. So the problem right now with the AMDs I got, the Ryzen's I have, they do not have um, discrete graphics. They do, meaning they, you need to have a graphics card on this CPU to see what's going on, to see the BIOS and all this stuff. Uh, you can, once you're set up, you can remove the graphics card. You have to go into the um, BIOS of the motherboard, whatever you're on, mine's MSI. And they have an integrated graphics option and it detects VGA. You just say ignore, boom, take out the graphics card, start back up. And then uh, you can then have the uh, rig boot up, headless, if you will. And then I, you can remote in if you set up Google Remote Desktop on the rig or other, and then you can remote in and get to it through the uh, network. And then you have a nice little low form factor rig, not, not a big hefty GPU sitting on it, sucking down some power taking up space so that is pretty cool they now come out with uh these uh ryzen they probably already had them i just never had one with the um with the uh without the need for a discrete graphics card so processor with radeon graphics the intels i had on the intel motherboards no issue with that i could just plug an hdmi cable into the motherboard and they had the built-in graphics and i could see what was going on at boot up time and no need for a gpu yeah, so that's good. Something to think about. You can. Yeah, it's just when you're setting the thing up initially, you're going to need a graphics card if it doesn't have the uh, Radeon graphics. You get my. You see what I'm saying? You need. Then you can remove it afterwards. But on these ones right here, boom, you just set it up, plug an HDMI into the motherboard, you're good to go. All right, they got AMD Athlon processor with Radeon graphics. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got related projects, projects, products? You got all this stuff. Raisin Master is something you should learn if you're into CPU mining. And uh, let's see, you got all this other stuff. Cooling solution. There's different ways to cool this thing. Uh, let's go look at one real quick. We're just going to bounce around. This is just a free form crypto gym video, which mean, you know, makes no sense at all most times. Oh, these are the older ones, the race stealths. Yeah, that's what I got in the MD5. These are the fancy ones I have on the, oh my God, what do you call it? 3900s, all fancy schmancy. So if you, uh, mine are, my rigs are out in the open, but you can make nice little light shows. I don't really care about that. Yeah, the old LED sync stuff, all this crap. It's for fancy schmancy. It's all eye candy. And here we go. Bundled thermal solution processors. They got the Ryzen 9 7900s. Wow, they're all the way up to 7900s. Man, Ryzen 5s. Look at all this stuff. You get the stealth colder. Just go through. You can see a whole bunch of stuff. Then as you're going through here, just go over and bring it up on Amazon. And now I know they have a shop on here as well. So what do we got? Just more of this stuff. Just go through this. this I'm just trying to give you the resource people just seem to overlook the manufacturer sites you know they have a lot of good stuff on it all right so let's go back let's go back one page here where was the ryzen i lost it there is desktop let's go into the ryzen processor there we go <clears throat> let's see wow slow i don't know what's going on the ryzen 7000 series you can buy on amd.com all right let's go check that i never heard of this one 7000 woo all right here we got the seven the nine 
technology that saves you time. What is that, Blade Runner? Looks like Blade Runner. All right, easy overclocking. See, they're not even scared to put that out there. Most places, uh, most devices say, don't mess with the overclocking, don't use afterburner. On your GPUs, we will, you know, NVIDIA is all, NVIDIA hates miners. They always, always hated miners. And I don't know why, because the miners were the one that were helping them through those slow times, buying all their cards. So I never understood the CEO of NVIDIA. Yeah, who knows? Unlock for overclocking, control your processing power using the Ryzen Master. Tweak and tune your AMD Ryzen processor for personalized performance easily with one click. Precision boost overdrive or do it manually with the robust AMD Ryzen Master Utility. All right, let's do that. This is just more stuff. Go check her out. You can see, here we go. AMD Ryzen 9 7950 with AMD 3 dv cache technology. Wow, this is getting up there. Man, you, technology keeps moving, boy. I'll tell you. Look at this stuff. Ryzen 5 5600. Ryzen for creators. Yeah, it depends what your mission is. AMD recommended CPU coolers. Oh, look at that. I like this. Part of the system engineering, system engineering exercise of any hardware build or rig build is knowing what all works together. You need to know what is the compatible memory. And uh, you can look at this AMD partner memory kits that have been tested by AMD partners at the advertised overclocked profile. Gold information right here. Instead of doing whack-a-mole, with Ryzen Master or just buying memory willy nilly, just boom, they give it to you right here. You know, there's so much I want to look at now. I just, just I'm overwhelmed. Crypto Jim, slow down. All right, let's go look at this memory kit. I'm just curious. I'm just going through. You're just riding along with me as I click. Look at this AMD Ryzen processor overclocked memory com compatibility list. Oh, look at this. Oh, let's see. Here you go, man. It gives you everything. I feel like an idiot. I knew this was here before with the drivers. I had no idea it had memory compatible stuff. Look at it, it gives you all the Ryzen's. All right, let's go see if my little card's in here. Tier. Holy crap, what are those? Mine's not even listed. Um, am I an idiot? Yes. Let's go to page two. Ryzen two. Oh, went too far. Scrolling hard for me, sorry. Two, two. What is all this? I wonder why it does have. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking for Ryzen nine. So anyway, memory. Oh, here's the memory. Hynix. Okay. Interesting. This is really good to know. Brand. All right, that's the brand of memory. I have some G skills. Okay. Tier Ryzen. Oh, I put all. I wonder why it does have Ryzen nines. Interesting. You know what? Oh, I can only do fifty at a time. What's up with that? Subscribe to latest AMD. All right. Anyway, you get the gist of it. I don't know why my, oh my God, my memory wasn't popping up. Oh, this is the DDR5 stuff now. I have DDR4. I'm, I'm, my stuff's getting old real quick. Holy crap. Let's see. Memory manufacturer as capable of running at the speed and latency as listed on the box, whether it's compatible to the XMP standard or AMD's new Expo overclocking memory standard for DDR5. Okay. Oh, there's DDR4 listed though. Huh. All right, there you go. Check it out. I don't want to waste time on too much. It's good to know it's there. Again, helps you find the right memory for your, hopefully, the CPUs listed that you're buying. Oh, uh, and I'm sure in the manuals too, when you buy this stuff, on the spec page, it'll tell you what, what memory goes with it. All right, what do we got? Coolers, who cares? We got that. We looked through that. Gen storage drives, okay. Oh my gosh. All right, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Uh, what was I going to look at? Oh, the, the buy, buy. Let's go look. Let's see what, all right. Let's do Ryzen 7000. Let's just go to buy. I want to hit buy one. See where that takes me. Sometimes most of their stuff is sold out. Ah, there we go. Oh, there are even some discounts. You would think that on a um, manufacturer site, full price, full MSRP, no discounts. But uh, this, is, this is not bad. Let's go through some of these. Sort by featured items. All right, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9, 7900. 
Wow, not bad price. So we got Ryzen 9. Everything is really marked down. I don't think people are spending money. Here's a uh, 5600. That's pretty cheap. 5800. Ryzen 9, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7. Jeez, look at that. What else do we got in this list? Let's go next page. 5600, 5800. Ryzen 9, 5900. Really? How is that 300 bucks? 5950. That makes sense. Graphics model, discrete graphics card required. So here you need a um, graphics card. It doesn't have the built in, you know, what the hell is it called? Uh, graphics software on the CPU. Interesting. Wow, look at that. 299. All right, let's do this. Uh, this one. Highlight that. Let's see. Copy. Let's go over here. Do it. Hit the button, Big Daddy. All right, Ryzen 9 5950 processor. All right, we got 446 at Amazon. <clears throat> Best Buy, I do not shop there anymore. They just went a bit woke. Uh, Walmart is holding at the full MSRP. Holy schmacks. GameStop, too, they're holding at the full MSRP. Staples, are they still around? Wow, I'm surprised that uh, Staples, GameStop, and Best Buy actually are still in business. Unbelievable. You got Ryzen 9, 7950, right, something else. All right, so Amazon, 44699. Amazon, for, cheaper. So it's cheaper on Amazon. And it's probably easier returns, too. Try returning to these guys. And they'll say, no, you bought it on sale. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. I don't know. That's just my hunch. All right, we got graphics card. Oh, let's do all products. I'm just looking. I am not buying anything. This, uh, this stuff's expensive. I forgot how much I blew on all the hardware I purchased two years ago. Wow. I recouped maybe half of it uh, and sell it on eBay, but then eBay took a lot of my money, 14%. But I didn't have to go meet people in person. And Facebook Marketplace is a total scam uh, festival. People are always out there trying to get your Venmo, trying to rip you off because they're just scamming you. They're not, they're not local. They're not trying to buy your crap. They're just trying to scam you. So be careful of Facebook marketplace. Then if you go meet someone, you're afraid they're going to like, you know, you know, rob you. So if you're going to sell something on Facebook marketplace, meet them in the lobby of a police station and that'll keep the uh, criminals away, which I think it seems like 50% of the population is like a thief these days. Man, people are just taking stuff that's not theirs. Put a box on the front porch that says Amazon. See how long it lasts for a, for a piece of crap walks by and tries to take it. All right, there we go. There we go. I'm just saying go to the website. Biggest takeaway here is not, not really the um, buying on there. You can see what's there and go to... I don't go to Amazon. I mean, I, whether you like Amazon or not, they have the best price right now, and it's easy to return stuff on Amazon. GPUs, not so much. You got to be careful. They're going to check because they've been scammed as well, and they can only lose so much money. So let's see. This is the best one right here is going to the resources and support. And let's go to this overclock utility. We're on a journey together to discover what's out there. All right, AMD Ryzen Master. You're told to unlock AMD Ryzen processors. Okay. Look at this. Every Ryzen processor is, mul <laughs> is multiplier unlocked from the factory so you can personalize performance to your taste. That's amazing. Most, like I said, most manufacturers of hardware don't want you messing with the hardware because then they'll say you violated the warranty and you cannot uh, return it. GPUs too, they ship them with these crappy thermal pads on their memory and they just run hot, especially the big 38, 3080 TIs. You pop those things apart. Okay, oh, you violated the warranty. And, but then, geez, you put on, you put on uh, copper shims with new thermal, new thermal paste. Get rid of those crappy thermal pads they put on in the factory that aren't even lined up on the memory correctly. They're halfway on sometimes. 
and you're wondering why your cart is overheating. And then bam, you're, you're getting decently awesome, nominal, cool running conditions while even mining on these big carts. It's amazing. So I like that they let you do this. They're trying to encourage people to customize their hardware for your performance. It's pretty neat. And you can go through here and figure it out. Here's manual. This is what I did. I went to Ryzen Master on the CPU, set the voltage, and then it dropped the actual running temperature of the, uh, Ryzen, of the Ryzen CPU down quite a bit, about 20 Celsius. Yeah, here it is. Here's the look. Let's see. What are we doing here? Basic view, personalized performance. Just go through it. Graphics overclocking. Let's, I'm trying to see speed, temperature. That's, I have not looked at this mode. I, see, I just learned something. I have not looked at the graphing mode. He's in the home page. I need to go look at that. System monitoring. Ooh, you can download it. Oh, here we go. Curve optimizer feature in Ryzen Master. View the quick reference guide. Ooh, look at this. It is amazing. See how many pages this is. 51 pages. There might be some uh, beef to this, guys. Look at this, Master. Holy crap. I'll be honest, I never looked at this. <laughs> Trying to see if there's... All right. Wow, this is actually very good. My advice to you in your homework assignment for tonight is to go download this uh, PDF or go read it if you're doing anything with, uh, with uh, AMD processors on mining or gaming. Look at this. And then you can always do the apply and test your settings on the Ryzen Master. So if you totally screw it up, it'll test it and it'll say, no, 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 bad profile and reset it to the default for you. So you don't fry anything, which is kind of nice. They protect you from yourself. Oh my God, 51 pages of knowledge. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to scroll through here for a minute. Oh, there's a bug reporting tool, curve optimizer. Look at this. Knowledge is power. It really is. It, knowledge is power. Um, basic view. All right. All right, we're 22 minutes in. We did a little exploration on the uh, AMD site. I actually learned a couple things. I, I'm glad now they have integrated graphics in some of their CPUs. And some of the prices are not bad, even on their site. And uh, Amazon showing potential. And that's kind of cool for their uh, availability and pricing. It wasn't like a couple years ago, it was hard to get anything. It was hard to get a, a GPUs, forget it. And uh, CPUs, same thing. You could get them, but uh, it was always FOMO. I gotta buy them all. Bah. And then you get four Ryzen's showing up in your house. You're going, my God, I just spent 1300 bucks. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, all right, oh, A300, uh, A300 series APU, overclocking, overclocking. You get the gist. Pretty cool, good stuff out there. Yeah, good way to learn. This is, uh, my, my goal is to learn from others and actually if I find stuff like now, I just going through this, discovered, my God, they actually had a manual. I had no idea, I'm just an idiot. Too lazy to look or never thought or had the time to look, but now I know it's out there and I may find some time this week and just sit down and go through it pick one of the rigs and start playing with it and see maybe it, maybe if it um doing some tweaks using the curve if that helps trying to get better hash rate if i can uh, i'm not buying a new hardware i love to get some stuff but i'm not going to drop 500 bucks just to make a dollar crypto mining <laughs> on nice hash you see my point all right well that's it that's all i got let me know what you guys think what do you think of amd stuff definitely the Seems to be the best CPUs for crypto mining. Uh, if you have a Threadripper, please let me know what you're using it for other than mining, because that is a lot of money and it's a lot of power. And how noisy is it? Is it as noisy as an ASIC or is it, is it fine engineer and fine tune where you just hear the fans or I don't know, is it liquid cold? Hmm, that'd be good to know too. Yeah, all right guys, thank you. Thank you for going through this with me. I know it's a bit boring sometimes to go through, watch other people go through a web page, but it was a discovery time. We learned something together. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. I will, uh, I, I will make another video hopefully soon and we'll keep learning and keep mining and uh, watch the news and anything else that pops up. 
we'll uh, we'll definitely post it out there and just uh, keep learning from each other. All right, thanks a lot. Take care.